Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Morningstar, Descent to Deadrock. Uh, another blind LP, but thought this could be kind of fun. Uh, yes, we can start a new game. <laughs> I don't have any progress. I don't know too, too much about it, but it kind of looked fun. And kind of looks intense. Oh! And it's loud as balls. Well. That's a hell of a way to start off. <coughs> Sorry, I tried to mute myself. Let's see how this is. I, uh, I'm always interested in trying out new stuff. Actually, funny enough, I was going to do Dragon Age Inquisition, and uh, uh, my head. What the hell? I ended up not because I don't have the password. Novak. Novak, come in. Great. That's just great. Um, but yeah, I was gonna do that, and unfortunately, uh, I use Cenevera's, um, account for it. Let's take a look at... It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. It's the tube... How do I check it closer? It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I should have a second look at him after I manage to open the chamber from the medical room. Uh, okay. Novak to Pal. Come in. Finally. This is Pal. I read you. Listen. I'm injured. It's really bad. What? What is it? Man, it's bad. Just get to the cockpit as fast as you can. Uh, okay, hang in there. I'll be there in a minute. Can I take this? Chromium alloy wrench. Nice. All right. It's a doll. Uh, okay. It's empty. It controls the door. The hydraulics are under pressure. If I could release them somehow... Uh... It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. I hope the hull is intact. But yeah, I used, um, Cenevera's account for Dragon Age Inquisition and I don't actually have my own copy of it. Can I... Hey! Close it open with the wrench and release the valve. Dude, are you alive? There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. Okay. That won't seal the hull breach. Okay. Fancy screens. The touch panel has no power. I should operate the other screen. Wow, that that does look nasty. Right. Listen. We need to get this rod out. The suit's meant to have concealed my wo wounds. So I'm alright for now. But you will have to patch up the holes in the suit after you've removed the rod. You you'll need some so you're alive? Bed, I guess. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. Hurry up, alright. Everything shut down after the crash. So I ran it. 
try to get the power back online and reboot the mainframe. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress on helmet cam. Radio me when you need help. Thanks, Novak. That's still captured to you. Yeah, make me say it. Ah, oh, just get to work. Well. I don't want to pull the rod out before I find something to seal the suit with. Okay. Both consoles blew up. First Novak's, then mine. I got lucky, he didn't. I hope he makes it, though. I admit, I don't like him that much, but I don't want him to die, either. Well. Um, alright. I don't think there's too much else we can do here. It's an endless desert. Why do spaceships always crash land on desert planets? Why couldn't we have crash landed on a tropical beach planet? All right. It's the tube that supplies the chain. Can I wrench it? I've unscrewed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. Um, it's off the touch can be used as fitting between two cylinders of different sizes. And some wires. Looks like the hibernation chamber is leaking fluid. I'll have to check back here later to figure out what's wrong with the system. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. Interesting. Alright. The doors. So we can't do that. There's med bay upstairs. Let's go it's to the med bay. It's too dark first. up there. Okay, it's let's go too downstairs. Dark there. Uh what does the doll do? Didn't it have like a power source or something? It's a doll. It's you guys built in a rechargeable power supply. No batteries needed. What the fuck does it do? I don't want to throw that in the other room. So I gotta figure out a way to get the lights on. Can I? This control panel seems to be fine, except it doesn't have power. I don't want to damage it if possible. Alright, so we can't go downstairs yet. I don't. It's empty. Rightfully know what else. You got the hole breach there, but I... That won't seal the hole breach. Oh, what? Oh, that that won't... won't... <laughs> uh... Alright, the fancy screens don't really help because we don't have power. I mean... Oh, wait, there's a... When did that... That's not always been there? That doesn't need screwing. Heh <laughs> Both con. Can I? The console is beyond repair. And I assume that's not gonna seal. All right, that's not gonna seal the suit. We need to get to the cargo bag. The touch panel. Anything else that? I broke it open. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I don't know what else to do with the spilled hibernation. I wouldn't do that. Okay. I wouldn't do that. What about putting the doll in it? I wouldn't do that. Alright, well, I will. That won't open it. It's too dark up there. I wouldn't see a thing. So do I have to restore power first? It's too dark. Because I'm not quite sure where else... Can I... I don't want to unscrew that. That doesn't need fitting together. Can I wire her? That doesn't need any electrical patching. I feel like maybe maybe there's a way to open up the computer. I could break it. That won't do any good. That won't do I could Uh I could I That won't What am I missing that's that so obvious? 
This is like the first freaking puzzle of the game. This radio? You get into engineering. You will need to supply the control panel next to the door with power. Thanks. Thanks, friend. Any idea how to... Where am I getting... The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. The doll? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, so there's a lot in here. What is this? Nano glue! It's missing the uh, adhesive compartment. Oh, well, of course it is. Johansson, our late engineer, used to use the top of these cabinets as a work desk. They're full of his stuff. What's the space between there? Oh, there we go. Now it's only missing the applicator head. It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. It has a safety switch that shuts down the power going through it to prevent the user from getting electrocuted. The main panel got loose and it activated the safety. Can I open it? There, I've tightened the screws. Oh. Wait, that should have turned off the safety and the conduit should be humming with power. I've screwed the panel back on. The safety switch is still on, and the conduit is... Alright. Broken fuel cell. Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we crashed. Most of the conduits are fried. Anything else? The middle else? engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. We'll ultimately find out when we get off this rock. The right engine is shot to hell. The ship has very little power, and the reactor is offline. I will need some extra power to start it up again. Uh, wires? That has no power in it. Oh. There's nothing. I can't. What is this missing now? The applicator head? I'm only missing its applicator head. That right. doesn't need fitting together. The middle engine looks fine from... Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we... Cr Can I... It's beyond repair. All right. Eh? I wouldn't do that. Okay. I wouldn't... I feel like I'm not making the progress I should. Captain Novak? That's not gonna seal the suit. So we need this applicator head. We need to get power back to... That has no power in it. That has... Alright. The engine doesn't need that part. The engine... Does it need this part? The engine doesn't need... Does it need this? The engine... What about this? The engine... Okay. I can't use any of that stuff. Better go with brute force again. What? Initiating boost trap of mainframe. What? Warning. Main reactor offline. Currently operating on auxiliary power. So I just smacked it? Finally. I jump power. Here, determine cause of course deviation. Course compromised due to an extreme gravitational anomaly. Specify source of anomaly. Oh no. Shockwave regression analysis no. plates a source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta C Igni system. Specify our current location. Beta C Igni 2. Wow, we're on Dead Rock? The Dead Rock? Looks like it, yeah. Well, that's what? just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off-limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer, damage report. 
main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non-functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration and ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow. That's all? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. What the fuck are you yes, talking about? <laughs> no, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact. And the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and seal those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I tried to scan the planet's surface for life signs. Well, isn't that convenient? Do all the goddamn work. Alright. There's a syringe inside. Uh can we combine that? That's with... no use. That's no use. Alright. This is where I found the syringe. Yes, it is. It's an access panel for Uh alright, let's open it up. So let's open it up. That was pretty easy. The steel pipe is part of the O2 circulation system. I wouldn't do any damage if I removed it. Okay. And some insulation. It's thin insulation foil. It's sticking one side and the whole thing is easy to shape. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. Can I use the insulation on it? That won't seal the hull breach. Oh, well, no, no, no. Um, all right. It's supposed to be an examining table, but Johansson used it as an extension of the desk when he ran out of space while working on one of his experiments. But it's surprisingly tidy now. What do we got on the desk here? We got a ventilator. It's circulating the air and working the CO2 filter at the same time. I'll have to shut it off from the cockpit to get a look at the filter behind it. Okay. I should present it with something to analyze. Oh, okay. And we got some glass container. It's a status report on the hibernation chambers. It says there's a malfunction in one of them. If we can't fix the hibernation system, there's no point in even taking off. We wouldn't survive the voyage without hibernation, even if we go to the nearest star base. It's a status... All right. Opening hibernation chamber three. I've opened Johansson's hibernation chamber. All right. I think he's dead. I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers. It's too deep down. Uh, can we... I don't want to put that there. <laughs> the screwdriver isn't long enough to pick out whatever's down there. All right, what about this pipe? The steel pipe is too thick to stick it down there. I need to figure out... Can I take a sample of the... I think Johansson's dead. Um... Can you analyze this fluid? Analyzing sample. Please stand by. No living cells found in sample. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah, it looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. It must have been the extreme gravitational forces. We'll have to replace the fluid somehow. Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah. Uh. Ah, I think I get the name now. That doesn't really help us, you know. But I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit another ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the path injector is fired in engine two. Damn. 
it looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid, and a spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that empty fuel set from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? <laughs> uh, get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, pal out. Large fries. Pal out. Diet cola. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. Alright, folks. Well, I am going to cut it off here. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.